Welcome, you guys. Again, my name is Nick with Preferred Physical Therapy. I get a lot of questions this time of year about hydration, how much water to drink, when is the best time to drink water. I'm going to answer those questions, but also I'm going to talk about what one thing people don't often connect is how hydration is so important in managing low back pain and how very simple and easy things we can do in our hydration strategies throughout the day to help mitigate our low back pain. Because water is so important. We all know and have been told often how many things become troublesome when we are dehydrated and often we don't even realize we're dehydrated, but we live in a desert. Very easy for us to get low and uh, on water and not pay attention to our fluid intakes or we think that drinking other fluids like sodas or iced teas or energy drinks, coffee, things like that, that we may think are good for our hydration when they're actually not. We need, we need clear fluids, water's the best, uh, maybe a little bit of flavoring in there, but mostly clear fluid, water. The way it affects your low back pain is whenever we have low hydration uh, in our system, Low back pain becomes an issue because our muscles aren't working very well, and especially the core strength, it's important to keep that back stable and healthy, becomes affected and it's not as effective, especially if we have been sitting for long periods of time or do a lot of repetitive lifting and bending. With those kind of cir circumstances, hydration is that much more important because those activities are taxing on our muscles. I know sitting doesn't sound like very taxing, but what it does is it, it mutes those muscles in the low back. It turns them off. And then what happens is we go to then get up or move around and we're deconditioned. We're not as strong or in as good a place or position to do those things. And when we're low on hydration and we have a weak core, it's another recipe for disaster. Likewise, when we're bending or lifting a lot, um, without the right hydration in place, our muscles don't recover as quickly. And so it's really easy for those core muscles that are very important to get run down and weakened after repeated repetitive activities like bending and lifting without proper hydration in place to allow that recovery to occur and mitigate long or bigger issues for pain. Uh, disc height. So in the morning, I get a lot of patients with disc herniations or disc pain. And they have someone say, hey, when I get out of bed, I'm really stiff and achy in the morning. That's because at night, our discs are these fluid-filled, kind of jelly-filled balloons that sit in between the vertebrae of our spine and the vertebrae of the bones are the hard stacking bricks that form our structure in the spine. We have these fluid filled discs that allow for more mobility, more bending. Well, at night when we're laying down and we're not loading them and squeezing them together, they have a chance to rehydrate and fill. And so when's the best time to drink as much water as possible is in the morning. And typically we say, you know, males should have a little bit more water anywhere from 13 cups a day which is about three liters or more depending on activity and then women should have about a 10 eight, eight to ten cups a day you know, for breastfeeding women you want to go to 12 cups uh, depending on your activity there's a lot of variables that go into how much water is important to you here's my general rule and, and test for you not to get graphic or disgusting but think about uh, we have um, urination and bowel movements okay now if we are urinating uh, lightly yellow or mostly clear then we're in a good place. If it's a very dark yellow, then we need more. We're not getting enough water. If our stool is um, is uncomfortable or hard um, and and not very much, then we need more fluid. So think about how you're how you are performing individually and what's effective for you, and think about getting more fluid in. Earlier in the day is the best. We've not had any fluid intake through the evening as we're sleeping. We get a bit more dehydrated. We need more water. I try and get it at least uh, four to five cups in before 10 o'clock. It's a little heavy, but then try and stay on that kind of path throughout the rest of the day. I, I try and get two to three cups every hour that I'm awake. Um, and that, that way my uh, fluid intake uh, adds up quite quickly. If I do an exercise or activity, I try and get another eight to 14 cups uh, or uh, ounces in uh, immediately after a workout at bed or at nighttime I hear a lot of folks especially if they work out at night they go to bed they wake up with headaches the next day that has a lot to do with fluid intake uh, so while not always advised to do a lot of fluid at night before you go to bed because you have interrupted sleep having to go to the bathroom consider how much you've had during the day 
and then consider that you're going to need some fluid after you work out or exercise before you go to bed, especially if you do it in the evening, because you're going to have that headache in the morning the next day. And so think about it, at least at least 14 to 16 ounces uh, of fluid before you, of water, specifically if you go work out in the evening after 7 o'clock to, uh, to get you through the next day so you don't feel more stiff, more sore, or headachey uh, the next day. Um, that goes over how does water affect my low back pain. It goes over how much water do I need to drink a day. Also talks about when is the best time to drink that fluid. Uh, drink it earlier before noon, the best. Get at, at least uh, 24 ounces before 10 o'clock if you can would be a great goal. And then think about two to three cups every hour going forward uh, is a good rule of thumb. Hope that helps. Our low back pain seminar is free tomorrow going on at 9.30. Please arrive. RSVP if you can, but you don't have to. If you forget and you want to show up and, and get the information, it's going to be available. Come on in. Uh, we'll have some light refreshments, a lot of seating, and a great presentation for you tomorrow. Again, 9.30. Um, the presentation is going to last about 45 minutes or so, and then plenty of time for Q&A afterward, hoping to wrap up around 10.30, 11. Um, hope that helps. Have a great day and a wonderful weekend. We'll see you soon.